I'm senile? I know there was a whole box of devil dogs in the refrigerator. I had a dream about them. You are senile. You ate them. Nick, Nick, you forgot your phone. It's Sergeant Marcello, and he's on the phone. He wants you. Hello. Yes, Sergeant. This is Nick DiLorenzo. De I'm glad you called. I'd like to report a robbery. What do you do? Sarge, for the last few months, food is disappearing from my house like David Copperfield move in. Like my wife swears to God she knows nothing about it, and we're the only two people that live here. Can you send somebody over here? <laughs> I gave it to the Pensanados. There's like eight kids over there. And Mr. Pensanado, he's been out of work since December of last year. Never mind, Sarge. This case is closed and the glove fits. Let me call you back when I get in the car. <laughs> Yo, you're hysterical. You should go Hollywood. I think they're looking to do Perry Mason over. And I've been married for 33 years. We have two beautiful daughters and three very healthy grandsons. You know, and he's just never serious. He's always joking around. Sometimes I think the kids are more mature than he is. Oh, that's disgusting. You heard that? No, I smelt it. Hey, Nick, what's happening? What's happening with you? I'm the most hated man in town. My kids can't even go to school. So why would you take a case like this? I mean, this guy stands up in a full courtroom and admits with no remorse what he did to an 11-year-old kid. I honestly didn't know who this guy was. He's my housekeeper's uncle. I got dragged into this. I didn't even know he had embassy ties. The friggin' guy's getting off with deportation. I didn't even get in jail time. And this arrogant puke thinks you can buy American judges here right now. That's what he's thinking about doing. I, I can't believe I ain't involved with this guy. So I guess you did this pro bono? No, the guy's loaded. Well, what does he want to spend to make the deportation charges go away? You really want to help this guy, Nick? Did your check clear? Yeah, but... But they don't turn holy to now on me. Call me back on a secure line. Hey, buddy. What happened to you? There's a kid giving samples out. So what's up? Well, first of all, this is for you. And I want to say I really appreciate what you did for me. Consider it a paid service. What else? I read, I read in the paper this morning. There's a good chance that Odessa guy that raped Teddy Carpenter's daughter is going to get off. The kid's 11 years old. They said she hardly speaks. And this low life is going to get exported? It's deported. And don't believe everything you read. You own a newspaper. That's right. And I said, don't believe everything you read. Nick, this is Mr. Odessa. Mr. Odessa, my brother, Nick DiLorenzo. Mr. Odessa, my pleasure. Mr. Casaretti has told me all about your situation, and I've arranged to take care of it. Yeah, uh, no. I think I have arranged it. Chance, give us a minute, please. No problem, bro. I'll be in the car. So, Mr. Nick has agreed. 250,000 American dollars. And for this, I am to get guarantee I am not deported. I give you my word, you will not be deported. <laughs> American way. What is this? What does it look like? I'm making good on our deal. There will be no deportation for you. You Americans cannot be trusted. You want more money? This we work out. Work it out? What about little Deanna Carpenter? When she asked you to stop, did you work it out? How about when she told you to stop? Did you work it out? How about when she begged and pleaded with you? Did that stop you? You didn't offer to work it out, did you? No. You just did what you wanted to do, didn't you? Well, that's what I'm going to do. Just what I want. In my country... Shut up! I don't care about you or your country. I don't care about the rules, the laws, or anything else that protects cowards like you. How dare you try to make an excuse for your behavior? Coward? I am coward? You are holding gun. I have nothing. Now what? You shoot me? You are chicken. You know what, douchebag? My grandma always told me it's better to be a live chicken than a dead duck. Blood spurting, spurting. Jens, Big Paulie, and Rocco appear up with a top. Nice group of Mr. D. See, new glasses. I can see great. Nick's my brother. Not biologically, but his family took me in when I was only eight. And I love them. They're like they're my own. If Nick says do it, I do it. No questions asked. Well, sometimes I might ask a question, but he really doesn't have to answer it if he don't want. Nick supports me in everything I do, and I love him for it. Hey, are people going to see this? You hope so. Well, I have your attention. I'd like to let you know that I have just expanded my mobile department store by adding a full line of fine jewelry. This week and this week only. 
What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm getting a little plug in here. You can't be getting plugs. You drive a cab with a trunk full of stolen merchandise. Are you kidding me? Pull the plug on this plug. Are we still rolling? Are we still rolling? Also, this week, in the homeowner's department, I got flashlights for sale for $2.99 a piece. Battery's not, Battery's not included. <laughs> I'm Nick's oldest daughter. I run the sales department for South Shore Publishing. I deal with all the salespeople. I handle all the major accounts. I also oversee all the sales staff and their accounts. Everyone thinks I got this job because my dad owns the company. But my dad assures me that I got it because of my education, qualifications, and worth ethnic. Between us, he needs me. If I left this place, it'd go to hell in the handbasket. I need my keys! I'll get him, Daddy! See what I mean? Then, I need to John Hancock on these. Hancock, Tina, not Hancock. John Hancock is the guy that signed the Declaration of Independence. Really big, so you can read it. Hence the name John Hancock. Then who's John Hancock? That's John Hancock. $42 an hour, and this guy's in the John jerking off. Freddy! Uh, yeah, boss, what's up? Listen, at the end of the shift, get a hold of Tommy. Tell him if his kid's brother don't straighten up, he's gone. Why? What happened, boss? He's in the john two, three times a day, jerking off. No, boss. He had um, his guts removed. He had some kind of cancer or something. Oh, if that was the case, he wouldn't need a magazine to shit. Use your head. This kid's jerking off. Now, Tommy can't straighten him out. You, him, and Tommy will be home jerking off together. Sorry, boss. I'll take care of it. These guys are unbelievable. What's this? Um, that's the material bill for the Scudder Ave job. Yeah, T, I can read. Why am I getting a bill? This job isn't even started yet. But you're gonna have to serve somebody. Yes, indeed, you're gonna have to serve somebody. Well, it may be the devil. Serve